guys it's me Luis one more day one more time sorry if I don't have any videos for the last couple of weeks but we have a problem with the weather remember to me working outside is not a good deal especially if you have a rain or cold weather so now we have this one is the old Chevy truck you know uh, 2013 um, is the pre-owned car but I want to show you when the people do the bad jobs okay so do you need guys to understand you cannot do this kind of job. I know sometimes you rush the job, you hurry, but this kind of job is not possible down for someone. Let me show you what I'm talking about. So remember, you don't see many videos from me on this month or the next month. It's because I'm working in the shops. It's cold, so I don't have time to run the videos, but soon the temperature rise and we are in the spring or summer, you will see a lot of videos now. The other way, uh, or what the reason I don't, I don't uh, put more videos, or uh, post new videos, is because I don't have nothing fresh. I have the same car, the same tools, so remember, my deal is show the cars we don't have any videos, like a new cars, new designs, uh, moldings, or something you, we're gonna learn together, okay? So even the tools, uh, I'm gonna try to get another tools uh, for the next couple of months, but soon I have it, I'm just putting the video. So remember, I want to just get this channel, you get some fresh. I don't want to get the same, the same, the same, because people, you're going to be boring. So that's why, okay? So let me show you something here. This job was done for someone. Someone, the name Glassman or Auto Glass Technician has to be delayed, okay? He used this tractor. I don't have anything, nothing about this tractor. The extractor can be used in any kind of cars, but the top of the cars always is the most, most uh, difficult part in the cars using this tractor because you cannot control the power. No matter how much do you lubricate, the blade is gonna go in and it's gonna start scratching everything. You're gonna see here, first, you see this big line right here, cross all the way over there, got a rust, because when they, uh, remember they use the blade to cut the molding, because it's really easy, you can just pull the molding from the side and just peel it off or pull it off but this guy did is just use the plate you can see the big scratch is really bad one more more all the way here, really deep this one is a lamination that's normal on the Chevys the, all the Chevys has the problem even the, you know, the, the, those kind of bends they have a lot of problem with the Savannahs and all those cars with the lamination paint, that's normal so, but you see the structure here all the way that way you see this stress this one is the more higher you can see how far the blade goes it's like go out and you can see the scratches almost go out of the pitch wheel here the mark for the for the top so it's down and all the way there now i had to fix that and you can see on the here is the rush already so it's, it's maybe a level one it's not even two but you can see the rust under here you're gonna see the damage now i'm gonna move all the urethane Okay, but now let me show you another problems we have. These people, or the guy did the job, look at this. Look at the damage on the moldings. Just rip this part right here, it's really bad. This is not too much, but he cut a piece of the molding. But remember, I know this kind of cars is really hard, especially on this way for the moldings. But remember, right here you have a shard at this part. It's many people, what I saw in my, in my, you know, in my life, working with these cars what they do is take all the bolts or the screws and they just move in forward there this way and that's not the problem you can do that if you want but when you go back over here first you have to put this one inside and the problem is when you go inside this molding is a sharp really really bad you don't want to do that this kind of damage or you put a tape here a piece, a piece of tape here and open the molding a little bit and put it inside all oh, the best deal is take the bolts or the screws and take them off. Okay, you don't have excuses to don't do it because you can find this kind of tools. This one is the, you know, the L screw. Is the, you can find this one in Amazon on another store, really small one than the other one, the big one. So they fit perfectly in this way. But if you don't have it, you can get these kind of ratchets in any stores, okay? You see it? You got all the room you want to remove the bolt. So I don't know why you, many people do this, but well, is you know I, I don't know why they call glassman and, and i'm pretty sure many um auto glass companies they have a uh, glassman doing this and even those auto glass companies the owners they don't say anything why i don't know uh, let me show you the bottom of this car how the glue looks you see this 
they put the mulligan inside here because they don't want to take the cow and you can see in this area is nothing attached it's just sliding down all this area was probably wind noise on this way really crazy for the customer maybe they cut this one uh there's a lot of glue everywhere but also they damage when they don't damage let me show you what's going on oh, my, my cow is over here when these kind of guys they don't want to work too much what they do is take this one off and don't put it back on okay so the thing is when the molding is on here and they take this one away and they hide in a truck or just took it the trash they have the gap this big so that's why when they put the urethane inside they can slide it inside but the problem is even when they do that you can see the results right here very bad and the other problem is that it's gonna have a gap this one and many water too much water is gonna go inside in this area and they can damage the motor wipers or it's too much water the, the drains can handle so that's why the molding is designed to get the water out of the place but many glassmans don't realize that's gonna happen because maybe they don't have any coal in the last years when they do that okay so I'm doing so maybe we're gonna clean out we need to find after I clean if it's possible replace this one or have to use the same mold remember this kind of designs my corners gonna give a little more lower than the than the metal especially for the aftermarket they have a problem sometimes with the bend is gonna be more lower so probably it's gonna look all the scratches and I cannot put too much glue because I have to just get with my regular B the only is gonna be 10 millimeters higher very very highest for the new Grand Cherokees uh, you know those kind of uh, cars but not for these ones so now what I'm doing, I'm going to test the glass before, if maybe, maybe, I have to change the designs for Marcy Lane. Marcy Lane give you the advantages to the molding fit in any kind of bodies. Like, no matter if it's the, bend, the curve is very tight, it's going to make it. So, uh, the last time in one of my videos, I used the molding for Marcy for, you know, the run channels, the water channels for the uh, transit because it was very damaged, the same like this, but worse than this one. So maybe I'm gonna use that one, but I wanna make sure first if it's possible or not. You can see, let me even move this little piece right here. Okay, guys, so what I'm gonna do, because I don't wanna use those kind of pencils, stone pencils for fix these kind of problems, is I wanna go more deep because this one is really, really deep and I got rust problems over here. So what I'm doing is gonna with my drill this way and I'm gonna make this one you see okay so I'm gonna do this one and make the metal show complete I'm not breathing okay Okay, so let me show you. I'm sorry about you see me not using protection on my mouth to don't break these things, but I don't have it. I don't know where is that. You see, this is the result. It's really, really nice and a smooth area. So the scratches, they're gone. I don't, I'm not going to pass this area or the oil is going to show me my uh, uh, the molding is going to be under this but if not I'm going to change the molding for Marcy okay because that's the only way I can just to make this one go clean and now for the scratches on the bottom it's the same way change the direction So remember, I have to clean the bee really nice with just water. Use my activator, is the pad is gonna clean and activate my urethane. So you see, this is the result. That's what the metal has to look. Very clean, very smooth. There's no more scratches on the side. 
on the bottom too. I'm gonna do the same for all the way that way. Maybe here I'm gonna go a little more higher just right here, but this one is gonna be like that. I, I cannot, I can't do anything. So because it's too high, this is almost turning. So it's two ways. Probably I can use the notch molding, but it's not gonna let my windshield go down. It's a risk. Or I have to use the run in the water channel. So like this. This one is nice because it's gonna cover, but if I use the notch, you know this kind of molding like uh, what is that? Some way like, like this. It's gonna be perfect, but the problem is the glass is gonna be too high, and maybe my glass is gonna pop. So that's the problem because the molding is gonna notch or cover the edge. This one right here is gonna stay right here too high. You see the difference? Is it's too much. My B has to be more higher than the 10 millimeters, and it's gonna be a lot, a lot of glue, and it's gonna take too long to dry. So that's why I cannot use that one. So probably just the on the, the water channel molding and that's it okay so i'm gonna clean all the area here to the other side primer and see you in the next shot guys because this is gonna be a lot of work okay see you next guys okay, so we already clean i removed all the problems with the pitch wheel so now we're gonna use the activator pads so i have a lot of this one so i'm gonna use it in my in my car now Okay, so we are ready. You see, we removed all the problems in this area of the wall. I, I went a little more higher than all the area over there because I want to do is just uh, try to get the rust out, out, of the, out of the car. So I'm going to clean my, activate my V. It's really light because I don't want to just attach these kind of filaments for the orange pad on the, on the activators and I'm gonna run remember the activator on the paint one remember it has to do two twice of this one and after you know before you put the primer already cleaned the bee with the towel paper towel so and one more to the pitch wheel it's got a lot of boxes of this because when I bought the the pro you know the the activator pro now I'm just getting a lot of pads extra okay and now So I'm gonna wait, it's not really cold today, the sun is helping a lot. So I'm gonna wait probably 10 minutes. I'm gonna run another uh, activator pad on the pitch wheel because remember when you have the bare metal, it's two twice, twice of this one and one from the primer, okay? Okay guys, see you next shot when everything is set and maybe I'm decide to change this molding for the water channel, when, uh, water channel molding like this, okay? It's for Marceline, okay? See you next shot. Okay, so we already wait our minutes more than 10 minutes in each step so you can see I already covered the little spots with primer all the top you, I have to be very high in those areas because I have to just uh, you know scrap all the parts just make the better metal shows put the primer and it's really high now the only way to fix that to, uh, to cover in this case is we're gonna use the M16 from Mars if you remember I'm not suggest you're gonna change the techniques you are doing now. It is just in the case you have one of these one when someone already make a really bad job, they damage the paint, they scratch everything. Um, this is the only way. Um, the pumps were nice, really nice because it's warm. When it's cold, I get a lot of problems with those pumps. I have to replace it. So this is nice. Um, remember now, the glue, what I'm doing, I'm gonna put the glue really high, not too high, but I mean more higher than the sides. So I'm gonna be a little more higher on this one, normal on this one, and higher on this one because I have to reach uh, the, the the top of this one because remember this one is not gonna let the glass go down easy, so that's why. So I'm gonna just
And this one, I'm gonna go a little more higher. And to finish here. Ah. All right, so now. I didn't take my antenna off. I tried, but it's really tight. And sometimes these kind of antennas, I don't like to take them off when they're really tight because the rust inside is like a glue. And sometimes those moldings break. Yeah, it's coming in, see. I tried this morning, but didn't come off. I put some lubricant like W40 and I wait and I think it works. Sometimes these things breaks. I don't want to even bowl in one of those problems. Especially in a cars like this because no one wants to put money if I tell the, uh, the, the, the managers what happened with the body, I'm sure they're not going to put in paint, you know, in a body shop. They're going to just say, do it like that. But it's really hard work with the managers because they don't care too much what you say about the cars. All right. Okay, okay. So we're gonna just clamp this one. There we go. Right. Okay, so we set this one already. So I think the results they are nice. You can go a little more higher just to turn, finish to cover those scratches. Right there, as you see now, all the scratches are gone. Now you can see the high. My bee is really nice. I have to push it more down, and of course that one is gonna catch the pitch wheel with no problems. Let me take this one off, I don't wanna get any glue. And finish to screw this car, getting hit in the headliner. Let me see, I'm gonna pull this one. I don't like pull this one too much, the headliners, because I, I don't wanna make marks, so I don't, I don't look really nice pulling. But I want you guys see, you see? The B, I have to push it down, but it's really nice, because when you put your fingers, and you cannot go more deep than half of your finger, it's nice. When you go inside, almost part of your finger, that one, when it's too high for the molding. So now we're gonna push it down. Remember, when you're pushing down, just try to go slow because you can break it exactly at this point, and this point, because this molding is not for this vehicle. You can break it. And now you see the bee expanding. You see, very nice. Remember, the other problem we have, the glass is coming like this, make a little bubble and go down. That's the problem with the design from the factory up to market especially if it's pgw okay i don't like used to pgw in many cars because to me they're really low quality now but many contractors like it because they match the price with american or migrant and that's why because the quality is poor sometimes knowing all of them but some of those is more poor than another brand <coughs> The other problems I have with uh, PGW is for Lexus. Uh, some cars, the bracket for the rain sensors all the time fell off, all the time. And I hate that. Because every time when I finish my job, when I'm, I'm just putting the sensors back on, the bracket just pop. Because there's a lamination from the bracket to the glue. And I have to reattach the bracket, spend more time. So that's the problem with PGW. All right, let's take a look. And you see now my finger, I cannot even pull this part right here, okay? You see, before I put more inside here, now it's just right here. So remember your finger, 
cannot fit more than this way it's nice if you go this big that's because the glue is too high or in this case the molding don't let it go down so now it's pretty nice okay guys so we finished so as you see this is my way to leave this car with a good finish <coughs> the Mars Lane is M16 <coughs> that's Mars Lane I like it because they're more soft more easy to use because the other one is more cheap from America and they're really hard plastic this one is more like a rubber piece so it's really nice they fit really cool and they don't make any problem with the fit and the body and they let it and the molding go flexible to go down now if you use the other one the three quarters you know a little more bigger the problem is the molding is going to be too big and it's going to flip up a little bit more so this is the perfect size because it's not going to open nothing you see right there so i think this one it's going to be nice like this you see perfect fit the b is completely attached now this one comparing with the other side this one is completely straight like coming up and go straight making the vehicle more nicely you see that and look at like take a look at the other side I'm t I was why telling you telling you about the quality of the glass check it out you see here go like this so go up down and down so that's different this pipe but I mean it's fine the bees is perfectly attached you can see the pitch with is attaching the glue with no problem it's like a paint already attached okay and nothing is squeezed from inside it's clean and that's it okay guys so this is one of my jobs if i have any problem with this kind of jobs you always can fix it like this okay okay guys i'm gonna put all parts together and see you in the next shots remember you don't see many videos just because because i don't have nothing fresh but when i have something new you're gonna see in the videos okay see you next shot guys Hey Luis, so we have two more today so remember I don't post many videos because I don't have nothing fresh so it's the same cars the same brands the same models so I don't want you guys start be boring watching the same the same the same but today we're gonna run these videos I'm gonna use the mongoose here and the spider over there so I'm gonna go full speed and bolt because the temperature is nice it's warm and sunny so it's much much better I got my glue warm on the, on the window because as the you know a medium warm so it's not gonna be very very hot so we're gonna use that one i have another one is a panamera i'm just waiting for that one but i'm not sure if i'm gonna do it or not because they took more than 20 minutes and i don't have anything here so i want to use a raptor over there so i'm gonna wait we have my remember the pneumatic gun air compressor so we're ready to set so i'm gonna start on this one first let's go with the spider okay so now for my video before this one for the Chevy truck remember I didn't find the mask to cover my face when you sand in the metal it's this one always worrying to don't breathe that kind of materials when you sand in or you're scrapping all the metal because that's bad for you breathing okay so let's start on this one remember this one the points you have to get careful is remember clean the spot you're gonna set your tool and metal this point right here right here over there and that way remember in another videos i saw i show a technique you can just run um you can just cut in two times just moving this one here and over there but you have to use the anchors okay so i'm not using the anchors now i'm gonna go the regular style so remember when you have a many people have issues with this guy right here because they say they move all the time and sometimes move you don't have the position or the glasses contaminate or the suction cup is contaminated with some grease or something it starts to slide and move it and move it and torn i know but to me i don't have any problem like that because i always clean my glass clear the cup so everything is nice now to better cuts remember you try to cut side to side the risk to this moving is more because it's going to be a lot of glue in that area and also to break the glue down in the area on the bottom it's more hard when you want to run one side to side because the bend of the glass is not going to let you do it so but you cut in the middle it's going to be more easy to make the cut here and make all the cut around okay so i'm going to go full the speed i'm not going to go in the second gauge um second speed and four gauge uh, and uh, gear i'm going to go the four okay so because i want to prove you can work in high speed on this one because the temperature is nice today okay i already protect the cover remember the bin numbers on these cars cayennes or ports they gotta be covered because they're easy to damage okay you see full speed on my system is not sliding move a little bit but that's normal 
because the cup is small, okay? Uh, you see, it's moving, but it's normal, okay? Now, I'm gonna set this one under my spot. This is a regular spot right here. Okay, now we're gonna start cutting on this way. And now we're gonna protect them. Remember the corner. We gotta be make sure it's not gonna catch the trap between the headliner and that. Now, this is what I'm talking about. I'm gonna try to go side to side, and you're gonna see it's more easy the risk to the system move or maybe the line break because when you cut in the middle, it's more easy cut here and there. But I'm gonna show you the difference. You can see the system move a little bit. That's because the side to side is more difficult, but you can do it. In this case, go slow. Because my headliner is on my way, you see. Now here we have the brackets. We gotta make sure because we got a bolts right here. So I gotta make sure I'm not trapping any kind of bracket here. Yeah. go full speed okay and I don't have anything move about my system but the glass is really clean the cap I cleaned twice with the product so it's, it's very nice okay and the last cut on the bottom Very low, very low. Okay, I go slow because this kind of glue is really low, so that's why. Because you go full of speed when you got a low glue, that's gonna break your line no matter what, or no matter what system you use. All right, so this one is done. Let's go with the max. So that one is cut already, now let's go with the other one. I'm gonna use the little body on one and the pro set in another one. Let's go here. Get my... right. Okay, let's go full speed on this one too. sure my bin number is protected. There you go. Right there, now let's go to the other side.
Remember, retract a little bit. There you go. Make them free. Oh my god, right there. the cut all right guys let's gonna make a full cut remember careful with this one right there gotta get careful with this one I'm the guy guys so we finish of course has more speed so that's nice but believe me if you want to try cut like this in a mechan uh -uh, no way is that's harder it's really hard the glass on the mechan and uh, you see a lot I have over here so for the last couple of jobs I have the glue is really low the glass is really thin the same like other ones but this is really thin as you see my line is breaking a lot what i do to don't break my line is pushing down but even with my hand just push with the pressure down the line is just breaking the glass the line don't break but the glass does so do you see the glass is like that okay <clears throat> all right so this one is done Really, really similar, uh, similar products. The only thing is, this one is repositioned one time. This one, a couple more, but doing the same job. But the price, you need to check it out. Okay, guys. So as you see, I don't have any damage. Oh, everything is fine. No scratches, no marks, no cuts. Nothing was damaged. This one, guys, is not pressure right there. You see, it's completely clean. Let's go the other one. The full speed. You see, it's completely in one piece. No scratches, no cuts. It's very pretty clean. There you go. Okay. So I'm gonna just now remember. In this case, what I did, I don't get my glasses ready because what I'm doing is I'm gonna clean all this. Prepare. Uh, remember, we have to put primer on this one and activator on that one. The activator on that one is more glazy, so I had to wait 10 minutes and 10 minutes. So that's why I want to do is just wait. 10 minutes total because if I get this one 10 minutes and 10 minutes 10 minutes is a lot of work so that's why I have to wait so I'm going to wait on this one uh, the, the, the products are drying so I'm going to pull the windshield on this one remember the Panamera they bring it back over here is the camera and I'm going to use my um, Raptor okay we're going to start making the cut remember the cover you see it I'm not going to cover because I don't have another cover but it's fine so just careful when you work in here uh, remember this is my technique working on the top corner to me it's much better so I'm gonna move over here we're gonna start here you can see how fast you can go on the top right there so I go the other side so that's why I like the technique on the top because the top corner I can go more faster and go a less tension because the bend you see the bottom and you can see the top of course is less than that so but that's my technique okay 
remember this kind of bracket they go really really close to the roof it's no more room it's like this millimeters it's, it's less than a little 11 16 right there a little more than that but it's really really close to the middle you gotta get careful we don't cut it because you can cut your line right there all right seconds now you see they're close if you want you can just go like this but the onion for the pillar size is a problem so you can just put that protector right here when you pass the line Right there, that's the far as you can go. Okay, now I'm gonna move in the middle. Uh, you can go all the way that way, but the problem I said before, the bend of the glass is gonna make this one more straight, so cut in half is much better. couple of seconds there you go you can hear the noise change then with the pin number always has to cover very nice get that one there you go All right, we already passed the bin number. There. Right there, and the last cap. Okay guys, so as you see, my anchor never moved. Okay, so remember, that's why I, I like the technique on the top, because you always go on this direction, and all the stress go away, because when you start on the bottom, always is a lot of stress. Not all the cars, but many cars. But that's why I like this technique, okay? So, we're gonna put this one out. And all the, 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 the products, activators, um primers we're gonna use and that one is for the wr system you don't see that one you're gonna first time to see it it's a prototype so we're gonna want that one now remember my 10 10 millimeters first <clears throat> we're gonna use it just dust first okay so we're gonna start here uh -huh. you know with this kind of house is more light so it's not really heavy so I can run more faster because the other one is really heavy so this one is much much better
little bubbles right there so I gotta fix that one uh, let's see what I'm gonna go here let me go more slowly here this is the only problem with this kind of glue you gotta go really thin and really low on the sides And it's something I don't like too much. Increase the speed here. Because when I have to redo it, the glue is really low. Very low. It's much better. This one is much better than the B one over there, so that's very heavy. Let me see. I saw a little bubble over here. Let me make sure everything is fine. All right, so it's good. So I'm just gonna set this one because remember the glue dries really, really fast. Okay. All right. Let's go. <coughs> numbers the top right there gotta pull that one back it's not big there you go. All right. 30 millimeters we're gonna use it now let's go with the next one we're gonna use the lady body on this one so let's go here My clamp. Uh, it's a little more difficult to control this one because the glue is really thin. So when you set that side, it's not really sticky like the C cow down, and the glass move a little bit more. It's a little different. When we use this another kind of glue, pull that one off here. Even you don't feel too much pressure on the handle. Okay. Like this way. <clears throat> okay, very nice here. Little pressure, not too much because it's all the way down already. So you see. So I don't make any pressure. It's just make sure it's tight. But I don't have even pushing down. Okay, it's nice, it's nice. Down, down, complete. A little push on the side just to make sure it's squeezing but not too much and that's it for the next one as the Panamera we're gonna take this one off this is gonna be the stop for the glass so we're gonna have to use the tape because this one's gonna stick and don't let it move anymore okay guys now we're gonna use our system over there so it's really nice you're gonna see an action. Alright, let's go. Okay. Let's grab the windshield. Make sure the pump's working. <clears throat> Remember, we're gonna set the windshield in this direction. Gotta set the edge right there and it can slide in a little bit. Go down here. And after that, so I don't hold in the way anymore. So the only I have to find is my pin number. And that's all. The position is right. There you go. I'm touching. Perfect here. Right there. Now the other side. 
going to be easy. Just two things I have to do. First, take this one off, and the second one, this one. So, on this one, I can do is pull it out a little bit, take them off, my anchor, take this one off, and set it right there. There you go. Okay. There you go, guys. Okay guys, so we finished today. We use different systems today. And finally we're done. It's almost six o'clock so so it's alignment very really nice, so nothing to move. So let me just move this one a little bit on this way. Put this one straight. There you go. Okay, you got a quarter for all clips and that's it. I'm gonna push it down a little bit because the bottom has to stick with the double face tape. Not too much. Just a little bit. Just make sure it's expanding. Might be. Because believe me, the next times when I do these ones, it's really hard, man. This glue is really tight, really low. Sometimes it's really difficult to move with my systems. There you go. Make sure nothing is inside. Okay, you see it's clean. That one is clean. Nothing. I got the exposed part right here. You can see it's right there. So it's really nice. Even though it's quite nothing. So it's really cool. Okay, guys. So we finished for today. It's only four videos. Remember the Chevy I did this morning, this video. And soon I have more cars, new cars, or new tools. I'm gonna post videos or something interesting to post. Because I don't want you guys to be boring watching the same, the same, the same, the same things all the time. Okay guys, so we finished. See you next shot if we have something new. Alright? Take care and see you next.